How's it going guys and welcome to my new Blu-ray and DVD update. Yes, it is Black Friday and um, I just got back from Black Friday, actually I took a nap and now I'm here after er, after I went to Black Friday and um, I woke up at like 6.30 this morning and I just I went to Walmart and Best Buy, FYE and that's pretty much all I went to then we ate somewhere and um, it was a lot of fun. Now, originally, I was planning on making a THR trip on uh, Black Friday, and uh, I actually did catch a little bit, like a tiny bit of footage, but um, I'm not even going to upload it, and it's just, I mean, I, I tried recording, but like it was so crowded, there's so many people, and I had so much stuff in my hands, I was just like, I can't do this. It's, it was a living nightmare. But, I did get some very awesome pickups. I have a total of, um, I picked up 12 movies at, um, during Black Friday, and I also have three other movies to show you guys, which I got over the past week, so I'll go ahead and show you guys those movies first. I'll start off with a movie that I actually did an unboxing of, and um, that is All Hallows Eve. Um, now, the director, Damien Leon, um, he um, he autographed it for me, as, along with uh, Art the Clown. I thought it was very awesome that they autographed this for me, and um, because I reviewed their movie on, um, on Hall my Halloween marathon, he personally messaged me saying how um, how thankful he was that I made that review, and he was so thankful, in fact, that he actually um, sent me a free copy and autographed it for me. So that was very cool of him. But as for the movie, it is awesome. I do highly suggest you guys check this out. It's honestly like I'm probably going to watch this every Halloween as of now because I really love this movie. It's kind of like in the likes of uh, Trick or Treat, Halloween, um, It's, Pennywise, The Clown. It's a lot like that, but um, it's a lot of fun. Definitely check it out. Definitely something more new, but um, this next movie I got at Kmart for five dollars not too long ago, and um, it's called Manborg, and um, I don't have the disc with me. It's actually my Blu-ray player right now, but um, yeah, it's called Manborg, and um, just look at the cover. It's all you need to know. I watched actually a couple minutes of it, or not a couple. I watched like the first half hour of it, and then I accidentally fell asleep through it, so I didn't really get to finish it yet. But from what I saw, it's definitely something else. Like it's. A lot different from the stuff you see nowadays. It's like kind of like an old, um, you know, it's it, it makes you feel like it's we're watching like an old sci-fi movie, kind of like the Terminator or some other post-apocalyptic movie. Basically, this guy he's like a manborg and um, he's like half human, half human, half robot. And there's this guy named um, what's his name? A villainous Count Draculon. Draculon in his name, and he's taken over Earth, and he brought Hell to Earth, so he fights Hell, and, um, that's pretty much it. It's 72 minutes long, it's not that long, and, um, it's pretty awesome from what I've seen so far. Hopefully I'll make a review of it one day. And, um, this next thing I got at Blockbuster for, I think, about six ninety nine. I don't know. It's, uh, Drive with Ryan Gosling, and, um, this movie's awesome. I originally, I didn't really care for it, I didn't really, you know... I, again, I didn't really care for it at first, but then I started it started growing on. I mean, I love the soundtrack to the film, so I did buy the soundtrack along with the movie, and this is a great movie. Um, yeah, Ryan Gosling is great in here. Um, now a lot of people, it's a very controversial film. Not a lot of people do enjoy it, but I'm one of the few that actually really does enjoy this movie. It's a very good one if you haven't seen it yet, but um, yeah. All right, now we are on to the, um, what are we on to? We're on to the... Black Friday pickups. Now, I got four DVDs and I got um, eight Blu-rays. So, I'm going to go ahead and start with the DVDs. But, um, yeah, I did not get a lot of horror movies, actually. Um, I got more comedies than horrors. I got um, seven comedies and five horror movies, I think. So, um, yeah, I mean, they had a lot more comedies for sale, I guess. I don't know why. But, yeah, so um, I'm going to go ahead and start off with what I got at Walmart. Which is, I think, um, I think I got the most stuff at Walmart. But, um, the first movie I have here is The Sitter, starring Jonah Hill. It was $1.96. It's an alright movie. I, it was kind of funny the first time I saw it. It's just a movie that's kind of entertaining. It's like one of those movies where you flip the channel and, you know, you just let it play while you're watching TV or something. I don't know. It's, I just bought it on DVD because I've seen it a lot and, um, I do kind of like it. I mean, I know a lot of people don't. I don't even know if a lot of people have actually heard of this movie, but... Um, yeah, so, titter. Alright, next up, you guys are probably gonna really, I don't know if you're gonna, like, look at me weird because I got this movie or what, but, um, I got Crazy Stupid Love, starring Steve Carell, Ryan Gosling, and Emma Stone, and Kevin Bacon, and, um, yeah, the, um, 
I like this movie, okay? I'm gonna tell you right now, I like it. Um, it does look like a romantic comedy, and technically it is a romantic comedy, but I actually really enjoyed this one. I thought it was a very good film, so, um, yeah, I like Crazy Stupid Love. I wouldn't really suggest it to horror fans out there, because it's probably not your type of movie, but personally, I liked it. Next up is the only horror movie I got on DVD. I was really surprised Walmart had this. It was in their $5 bin, and, um, it's Mother's Day, the trauma release, and, um, I, I've not I've not seen this movie. I've heard of it before. It's apparently it's Eli Roth's favorite film. It says right there. I don't know if that's true or not, but um, yeah, it's the Choma movie, Mother's Day, and um, looks pretty interesting. I, I haven't seen it yet, but um, I'll be sure to check it out. And as for the last DVD I got today is Horrible Bosses, and um, I was actually kind of really bummed out that I got this because I looked on uh, online on Amazon. By the way, I did some shopping on Amazon too, so I'll probably be doing another update after my 25 days of Christmas, because I do have some other movies coming in the mail for Black Friday, but um, yeah, this is Horrible Bosses. I was kind of bummed out because I saw that they had the Blu-ray and DVD combo pack on here for $3.99, and I paid $1.96 for this, and um, I would have paid the extra two extra two bucks just to have it on Blu-ray too. Like, I'm kind of bummed out that... It's, I only got it on DVD, and not only that, but it's not the unrated version where it's more, you know, footage. But, um, I mean, hey, uh, I haven't, I don't, I mean, I kind of watched it, but I haven't really, I don't think, watched it all the way through. So, I'll be sure to check this one out. Um, from what I've heard, it's very funny. So, yeah. Alright, now on to the Blu-rays. Um, I got four more um, Blu-rays at Walmart. Um, again, all three of them are comedies, and then I have one other horror film. But, um... The first comedy, I, or first Blu-ray I picked up is uh, Tropic Thunder, starring Ben Stiller, Jack Black, and Robert Downey Jr. Um, I, it's been a long time since I've seen this movie, but from what I remember, it is pretty funny. Um, basically, these people are making a movie, and like a, you know, it's kind of like a medieval, or medieval, what am I saying? It's a, like a military war movie, and um, they actually get lost and end up in a real war, and they still think it's a movie. So, it's a pretty funny concept. Um, I do remember really liking this movie, so I'm glad I have this. Um, next up, I have Hot Tub Time Machine, starring John Cusack, Craig Robinson, and Clark Duke. And um, it's pretty funny. Um, I mean, it's not the funniest movie out there. I know a lot of people seem to really like this film, but personally I don't think it's too funny. It's not as funny as people think it is, but it's pretty entertaining, and um, I did enjoy it the first time I saw it. Um, next up is a movie I honestly hate, and um, I did do a rant on this film, but I picked it up anyways, and um, that's Paranormal Activity 4. Um, I also have the first three Paranormal Activity films on my in my uh, Blu-ray collection, I have the first three, and I just, I figured, you know what, if I have the first three, I might as well pick up the fourth one, even though it's the worst one, and it sucks. But, um, I mean, yeah, I got the fourth one, um, it was three ninety six. I mean, come on, I, I was gonna get it anyways just to complete my Paranormal Activity collection. I just figured it'd be a movie to watch, like, on a Friday night with a group of friends to make fun of and laugh at, I guess, I don't know. I just have it just to complete the collection, I really did not like that movie, but, whatever. But, um, and as for the last Blu-ray I got at Walmart, um... It's the incredible Burt Wonderstone, and um, I got this for six ninety six, I think it was. And um, this movie starring Steve Carell, um, Steve Buscemi, Olivia Wilde, and Jim Carrey. Um, not a lot of people, I don't think a lot of people cared for this movie. It just kind of came, sort of came and went. Uh, I mean, people kind of forgot about it. But um, I, I, I thought it was pretty funny. It's not the best comedy in the world, but it, it's an alright comedy. Um, by far, the most funniest part of the movie is Jim Carrey. He like. He's, like, the best part of the movie, so watch it for Jim Carrey. His part is hilarious, but, um, yeah. Now, on to my, um, I went to Best Buy, and I only picked up one Blu-ray at Best Buy, which is kind of funny because I had a whole stack of Blu-rays. I think I had, like, ten Blu-rays in my hand, and, um, I only ended, ended up getting one, um, simply because it was the only one that was on sale for Black Friday. All the other movies I had in my hand were just, like, the original, like, $25 price, so I didn't end up getting those. Instead, I picked this up for $7.99 thanks to the Black Friday deal, and that is The Conjuring, um, with the awesome hologram with the guy clapping, and then the subtitles go from white to red. I love that front cover, but um, yeah, I love this movie. Definitely one of the better films of this year. I really enjoyed it. Um, not James Wan's best film, personally. It may be a controversial um, opinion, but I kind of liked Insidious a little bit better, but that's just me. The Conjuring's still very awesome. Um, if Insidious Chapter 2 also came out this year, and um, 
I was just a tad bit disappointed in that one, and I think The Conjuring is a much better movie, but, um, yeah, The Conjuring, it's an awesome movie. If you guys haven't seen this yet, definitely do check it out, especially if you're a horror fan, um, check it out, it's definitely worth a watch. And, um, now on to this next movie, um, this is a comedy, and, um, it's This Is The End. Okay, where do I start? It stars James Franco, Jonah Hill, Seth Rogen, Jay Bruchel, Danny McBride, Craig Robinson, Michael Sarah, and Emma Watson. I'm just naming, like, the that's, like, only, like, 25% of the cast in this film. There are so many cameos and actors and stars in this film, it's ridiculous. This one, I do highly suggest and everybody to go see because, first of all, this is the, one of the funniest movies I've seen in a long time. I was hysterical laughing. Second of all, it is kind of like a horror comedy in a sense because it has to deal with, like, um, what's it called? It has to deal with, like, demons and the devil and other stuff like that. So, um, it's a very funny movie. I really love it. And, um, I'm kind of disappointed because I would, this is actually in one of my hands when I went to Best Buy and I got The Conjuring. But I put it back because it was sixteen ninety nine. Not a bad price for a Blu-ray or a new release, but, um, it was still kind of expensive and, um, I found this at FYE for, um, what was it, fourteen ninety nine? so I picked it up because it was a little cheaper at Best Buy, but then I went online on Amazon, and it was twelve ninety nine. so I'm kind of bummed out that I wasted $3, but, I mean, I guess the movie's worth it because I love it so much, but, um, yeah, guys, this is the end, definitely one of the best films of the year, I love this film, I laughed out loud, definitely check this out if you haven't yet, I love it. Um, by the way, I got that at FYE, and these last two movies I also got at FYE, I forgot to mention that. Um, this next movie I got, I believe I did a review on this when I saw it, when it came out on demand, and that is Dark Skies. I got this for twelve ninety nine at FYE, and um, it's still a Blu-ray and DVD combo pack. I really like this one. I know a lot of people didn't really care for it. Again, it's one of those movies that just kind of came and went, and everybody kind of forgot about it, but um, personally, I, I kind of liked it. You know, I thought it was a different take on the whole... Um, alien horror genre. I really liked it. Um, of course, there's a lot of cliches in the film, but it's def generally very creepy, and I really did enjoy it, so um, definitely check this one out if you haven't yet. Um, personally, I liked it. You might have not. I don't know, but yeah, and um, as for the last movie, I picked up at Black Friday. Um, I already owned this movie, but I decided to get it on Blu-ray since it is one of my favorites. And, um, it's the Cabin in the Woods with the awesome hologram. It was $10 at FYE. I already owned the DVD, which I got when it very first came out. That was, this was way before when I started collecting Blu-rays, and I only collected DVDs, so I only got the DVD version of the Cabin in the Woods. And um, when I started collecting Blu-rays, I was kind of bummed out because I only had it on DVD and I did not have it on Blu-ray. So, now I do. It's on a Blu-ray and digital copy in Ultraviolet. I really don't care for those, but I... Do like the Blu-ray. Um, again, it's with the awesome hologram. I had to get it with the hologram. If you go into Target or Best Buy, it won't have this like slip cover. It's just really plain, like a. It's just like this. I don't like it. It's a cool cover, but I would suggest the hologram if you could find it. And um, if you have not yet seen this movie and you're a horror fan, what are you doing? This is an awesome movie. I know a lot of people seem to hate it for some reason. I don't understand why people hate it. I thought it was a very smart concept. I thought it was a very smart film. And the twist ending, I did not see coming. And I thought it was, again, very smart. And um, it's also kind of a horror comedy. So there's also a lot of funny parts in here as well. But um, this is definitely one of my favorite films. I love this movie so much. It was my favorite film of last year. And, um, you know, I just love it to death. Definitely, like, one of my top favorite movies, or top ten favorite movies of all time. But, yeah, The Cabin in the Woods, it's a must-watch if you haven't seen it yet. And that is all the stuff I got at Black Friday, and I, I'll show you guys this just because. Um, it's a uh, Pacific Rim 2014 calendar. Just thought it was cool to get. I got it at FYE too, and um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Just a little 2014 calendar, but yeah, that's all the Blu-rays and the movies I got during Black Friday and over the past couple weeks. Um, that's pretty much it. Black Friday was overall very fun. This is actually my um, first Black Friday that I went to, so... It's definitely a very interesting experience for me. I'm going to start going to Black Friday now, like, every year. Yeah, so that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for my 25 Days of Christmas Marathon, which is coming very soon, and I will see you guys later.